Let's take a look at finding the five number summary, uh, the following data using the R language. Okay, so I'm going to do a uh, file, new script, and I'll go ahead and do a save on there. So I do a file save, and I'll call this the five number summary. And I'm going to have a data set, which consists of the numbers in, in this. So I got 13, 19, 23. 31, 45, 46, 47, 51, and 53. Okay. Well, I can uh, print 5 num, and then beginning parentheses, closing parentheses. Um, oh, actually, I got to tell it of X. Okay. So let me save that. Now let me run that. So I'll do an edit and um, run all. You can also, um, there's some different options here about running. We do a window, our console. That tells us 13, 23, 45, 47, 53. Now remember your five number summary. This is um, minimum. The 13 is minimum. 53 is maximum. 23 is your Q1. Um, the 45 is your median. or your And it's also called your Q2. 47 is your Q3, so that's your five number summary. Now I'm going to modify my script a little bit. That's if you just want to straight print it out. Now if you want to capture those for some reason, um, I'll say um, min x is equal to, I'm trying to remember if it's min or minimum spelled out. It'll give us an error if uh, I don't get it right. Then max x is equal to max of x. Uh, Q1 is equal to quantile, and then I do X, and then I put in 0 0.25. Q2 is equal to quantile X 0 0.50. That's our second quartile. You could also do the median function if you want to on that. Q3 is equal to quantile X 0 0.75. And now I'll do a print um, min X print Q1, print Q2, print Q3, and print max x. So let me save this. See if I have any errors. So I'm doing edit and then uh, run all. And then do a Windows R console. Okay. And um, here we're doing a print on min x and we get on uh, 13 and then uh, doing a print on q1 which is our 23 then 45 47 and 53 so if you want them in separate variables that's how you do it um you don't have to have them it all depends on what what you plan to do with them if you plan to do something else with them after you find a five number summary then maybe you want to find them separately like i did here there's um, formulas in statistics that uh, use Q1, Q2, Q3, and also so forth. Um, so you may want to um, set them equal to variables like this. In this um, video, we use the R language to find the five number summary in two ways. One actually using five num uh, function, and then the other one is in terms of setting the min, max, Q1, Q2, and Q3 uh, for variables, and then working with those. I'll do a window 